I've seen a lot of requests recently on an updated tutorial for XML editing in Varmsum 22. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna showcase four mods to do it. We're gonna use the Combine Harvester, the John Deere S7 from Agritono, the Lizard Field Floater 7 Green Cart from Custom Modding, the TLX X52 Tipper from 82 Studio, and something a little bit different, the 610 Fertilizer Spreader, also from 82 Studio. What I'm gonna show you today only works on PC, so just a quick heads up there. You may have some of these mods all already in your mod folder and if you do hey that's great you could just copy those over but today we're going to be getting a clean install if you want to call it that of each one of these so let's go ahead and download all of them from the online mod hub you're also going to want something called notepad plus plus all you need to do is go to google type in notepad plus plus click that it's going to bring you to this page and just go to the top left and click current version and download that. As with a lot of websites these days, there's a lot of clickable things that you don't want to click on. Just click on this little box right here. You're good to go. Now go to your downloads folder in your computer and you want to go ahead and install Notepad++ and we want to unzip all of our files here. I'm using Windows 11, but the same thing works on Windows 10. Right click and go to extract all. And we want to do that for all four of these. Now we have eight folders. Inside each of these, we've got a lot of different file types some of them are folders some of them are the notepad plus plus files or xml files and some of the uh, i3ds and things like that i'm not messing with i3ds today one easy way to get this in like a nice order that you can see go to view and then go down to details it's going to bring you to this i know it's a little small on the screen but uh, you can find out what is the xml files you can either double click or you could just drag them in i do prefer to just kind of click and drag in so that's exactly what i'm gonna do here we're gonna start with the x52 tipper we got the mod desk and we've got the file itself. I like to rename these, so I'm gonna go into the name here, TLX X52 Tipper, and I'm just gonna put modded. You could do whatever. And that's really it for this page. So now we wanna go over to the XML file itself, and you're gonna see a lot of stuff, and likely you're not gonna know what most of this does. And if you do, hey, you rock and roll, man. You're one of the rock stars in our community. I always like to change the name here as well to the exact same thing we did on the mod description. The price line right here is 81,500. You could change that if you want. If you don't want it to cost anything, just delete everything and put a zero and it'll be free. But we're not messing with any of that today. We wanna go find where we can fill this thing up. At least on the X52, that is down in line 885. It's called fill unit. On here, we've got quite a few different things, but this is is what we want right here. You can see where it says capacity. Now we can actually change this. There are three different capacity options for this. So the default one is 83,000. Then we have 108,500. And then if we get down a little bit more, we have a 250,000 liter version. There's also a version here with zero, but we're not messing with that one. Most trailers that you try to modify are only gonna have one or two of these. So this is really easy. And actually this mod itself allows you to do something really cool. So I'm gonna go with this first capacity. Instead of 83,000 liters, I want it to hold 100,000 liters, but I want it to be easy to pull. So here's where it gets kind of fun. This code right here that I'm gonna show you is probably the most important part. You wanna type in update with a lower U and then the word mass with a capital M. After that, you click equals and then in parentheses, you put false, update mass equals false. What that means is, yes, it will hold 100,000 liters. However, uh, the mass is zero. The trailer still weighs something, but that's it. And now because this has multiple capacities, we can change a few more things. So instead of 100 here, let's go with 200,000 liters. And let's copy this update mass equals false, and we're gonna put it right in there. Now scrolling down to the unrealistic value here, he's actually already got this code in here for this value, so, uh, I don't know, feel like we could just go a little bit higher, 500,000 liters. And at least for this trailer, that's it. We do wanna make sure that we're saving these. So let's just click save all. And we wanna zip this back up. So I'm gonna select everything, just right click on any of these and hit compress to zip file. It's gonna zip it all up, give you your folder. I like to use the original name with an underscore modded, or you could do unrealistic or something like that. Maybe uh, you wanna put this as a DJ edit, whatever, you're good to go there. And then you wanna find your mod folder for FarmSim 22, and then just click it and drag it in. 
Uh, I actually already have one of these. So uh, I'm just going to replace the file. Now that we're back in the game, let's click on downloadable content. Let's go to installed and well, here it is from 82 Studio. You may also notice that there's no pictures on here. It's because it's not on the mod hub. Unlike this one, which is on the mod hub and has pictures. Before we jump into the game, go down to make sure that it's in here. We have TLX X52 Tipper modded. Now that we're in the game, we can see if it actually works. So here it is, Tipper modded. We go over to the unrealistic capacity. Here's 500, 200, and 100,000 liters. So all of them worked perfectly fine. I'm going to jump in a truck real quick just to check and make sure that everything's working exactly the way that it should but we didn't really change too much uh, make sure that your spaces and things like that are where they're supposed to be because if you get stuff kind of out of whack or out of the way uh, there is a chance that you could mess stuff up and i've seen quite a few people do that before where they've not left a space or maybe have uh, uh, done something like that so just heads up through there but yeah this seems to be working just fine half a million liters here i uh, you could pretty much make this whatever you want. I think up to 999 million liters, something around there, so yeah. Now there is one other thing that you may want to change. It is called dischargeable. Now this is right below the uh, fill volume stuff, so you don't have to go too far. This determines how fast it's going to unload. For most people, things are just fine. However, if you don't want this to unload it at that speed or or this speed uh or or that speed for example you could just to increase it add some zeros or something like that this is liters per second so that's fifteen thousand liters per second even with half a million liters it's gonna take you a while so you could technically change it to 150 you can even change it to 1.5 million if you want and it'll unload like boop, done <laughs> So, hey, if you want to change the emptying speed, you can, and I recommend it. Okay, so there's our tipper. Next, let's do the field floater seven. Let's come in here. We've got a mod description as well as a uh, the, the XML file itself. You could sort by file type and you'd be just fine. Now that we're in here for this one, generally I'll take off grain cart and just put modded on there. Uh, the, the name's very long. And we'll do the same thing in the file itself. This uh, This is also a very large file. Uh, but the one thing about this mod is the wheels would compact drastically because it was just so heavy. For this one, we're going to be looking for line 580 if it helps you out at home in any way. And we've only got one here. You can see fill type, categories, auger wagon. This video is not to show you how to change that, though. You could just put bulk and you'll be okay. But it holds 100,431 liters. That's a lot. But so is 951,364. After this, of course, we also want to do our update mass equals false. Make sure you're putting that in there or else... Oh, well, this is going to be even worse than the base game. And for this one, we will change the dischargeable. So this is set to 1000 liters per second, uh, which is fine, but that's not quite enough for me. So I'm going to change it to 100,000 liters per second. And at least for now, that is everything we're going to do there. I'm going to go to file and save all. Now that we've got all that, select everything, right click, compress to zip file. And this file's a little big. There we go. And I'm just going to copy in the file name and include modded on there. Again, make sure that you drag your file into your mods folder. Again, once we're in the game, go to downloadable content, installed, make sure that everything's here. Looks like it's good. Jump into our auger wagons and looks like we're good to go. It's actually showing everything perfect through here. <laughs> Because we didn't mess with anything else, all of our customization options are still exactly the same as they were. So with something that would have really given this thing uh, some issues before, now we're good to go. I can pull this around and it's not so bad. It's very unrealistic at the end of the day, but uh, hey, check this out. We're doing just fine. And remember also we changed our unload speed to 100,000 liters a second. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> and it is empty. Yeah, maybe not quite 100,000 liters a second, but hey, that's the quickest way to earn $2 million that I know about. All right, so we get the idea. The next one we're going to do is going to be the combine harvester. This one has two combines plus the mod description, so make sure you bring in all of those in. Just as before, we're going to be adding the word modded to the end of our name so we know which one's which, and I'm actually going to change that to all of them. That way I don't have to do anything. Just copy and paste. 
Bam. On the S7 600, we're going to be going to line 984. And uh, heads up, some combine harvesters have a lot of different fill categories. So you can see we have fill unit for US, fill unit for uh, US there as well. There's a lot in here. So we need to make sure we hit all of them. That way we don't have any issues going further. Easy way to do this, just go in, click on capacity, and then this will actually kind of show you where all of them are. So we could see here, fill types, uh, category here, 8,800 liters. There's also a couple other things as well. You could see right beside it what it is. For example, at the top, we have combine, and that's gonna be our capacities. However, we have diesel down here as well as DEF. Uh, these are things that I do not change personally. You can if you want to, you can make it more. Um, just maybe don't make it less. So I'm gonna do my best to go through and find all of these. There could be a shortcut way to do this, but uh, yeah, I don't really know that shortcut. I like my combine harvesters to be at 100,000 liters. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're also gonna do our update mass equals false. And because I know that this is something that I want all the way through there, I'm just gonna copy and paste the whole thing. Bam! So there's that, then we Go down here to capacity, we'll select this and paste that in and now yeah, that's, well, another one done. Keep going down, nope, another capacity. Click on that, select all of that, paste, boom. And again, there are a lot of them. I think the last line that you're gonna wanna change is around 1160. Then let's head down to 740, which is where our dischargeable is. Right now it's set up to uh, 476, but Usually for combine harvesters, I change this to 5,000. And there may be more than one, so we want to make sure that we hit all of these discharge nodes. Sometimes each uh, capacity option will have one of these, sometimes different pipes will have these. Uh, and do I know what any of this means? Absolutely not. But I know how to change capacity and speed, and that's what matters today. And that's everything for the S7 600. Then we have the other one the 7 8 and 900 version this can get tedious but just take your time do it right and remember if something messes up you can download a fresh version of the mod on the mod hub delete this one and start over if you want to so for the first one i have my capacity 100,000 liters update mass equals false again you can change this capacity to whatever you want Whew. and for this one there's a lot of capacity it's like 300 lines of code there jump down another like 600 lines down to 2188 and we'll uh come over here and we'll change our empty speed. Again, I like 5,000. And then at least for my personal taste, that's it. Let's go in, file, save all, and I think we're done. Select everything in that folder, compress it to a zip. Again, this one still takes a little while as well. And then underscore matted. Take that, drop it in your mods folder. As always, let's check that downloadable content, go to installed, and there it is in it all its glory. And here we are, John Deere S7 and S7 modded. Oh yeah. Oop. Looks like on the 600, I may have missed a capacity because we're showing a couple different versions there, but look, I think I hit all of them here. Oh yes, I did. And there it is, loaded up with 100,000 liters of wheat. Very, very nice. Raise up this header a little bit. I don't even know why I got a header. I didn't need that. Get out of here. And of course, we got that, uh, uh, yeah, this guy, still point. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, I normally set this to 5,000 again because it does take a little while. And usually when you're unloading a combine, it doesn't happen instantly. So this is one of those where at least I like to keep the scaling correctly. Uh, it's still going to take, I don't know, 20 seconds or so to unload something like that, or at least in the theory it should so there you go unloaded 100,000 liters unloaded just like that bam so the last one we're going to take a look at is the six ton spreader from 82 studio sort by type and we're going to take all of these guys and pop them in now there are three files in here we have the mod description we have the spreader and we have the salt spreader now some people don't use salt or anything like that so if you want to just omit this is all together and just leave it stock you can just like before rinse and repeat treat this kind of like a uh, I don't know, you could treat it like a trailer if you want to I don't know. <laughs> go in there you go it's that modded to everything find our capacities here and there's a couple different lines here you see param uh, that's pretty much what's going to pop up in the mod hub to show you like hey this is what this is so you can change that if you want to but i'm just gonna change capacity and again don't forget your update mass equals false here oh yeah and uh, heads up he's already got a line of code in here for an unrealistic version that's already got the update mass equals false on there so uh we may just 
add a zero to his handiwork because this is a spreader and it's supposed to empty out there is no uh, dischargeable like we have on the trailer so don't worry about that again as always make sure you save this every single time there we go save all you, you don't want to run into any problems compress our zip rename it with a nice little underscore modded and drag it in your folder. You know what I'm getting ready to do? I'm about to double check to make sure this worked. There it is. Oh yeah, we got all four of them now. And of course this one's right beside where it should be. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, I love it so much. All right, so ground driven, six ton, modded, bam. Got it in, configurations. Of course we have that uh, standard, we have the extension and then uh, extension number two as well as uh, extended. Get, these kind of look similar. So if you want to, you can actually go in and change them to be, I don't know, 10,000, 50,000, 100,000 liters, something like that. Uh, so you're good to go there, but I don't think we need to really do any more customization there. I think a Fit 700 may have been just a little bit too big for this kind of setup, but whatever. We'll grab it, take a look. Let's see, solid fertilizer. There it is, 250,000 liters. This is ridiculous, this is so much. And we turn it on and uh, well, it's gonna take forever. So we may as well just enjoy ourselves while we spread 250,000 liters. And there you go. That's really kind of it. This should uh, help you figure out other trailers, other auger wagons, as well as combine harvesters and spreaders. If you'd like me to show you anything about planters, like how to change from planter to cedar and make it do all of that stuff, well, that's pretty simple, but I'm happy to make that video for you guys as well. Hope this one helped you out. If it did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, enjoy the Go Ham fam. If you have questions, which I'm sure you will still have a few questions, and as always, I do see a couple people saying I did everything you did and it still doesn't work. Well, hey, if that's the case, let me know as well. I'll do my best to help you out. Otherwise, just have an awesome day. We'll see you guys later.